Today's Professionals brought to you by The Basement Doctor. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's professional. Today, The Basement Doctor. And with us is the 51 year old John Clements. <laughs> I couldn't oh. use it. And I don't remember how old you were. Was it 90? 95? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Here we go again. All right. Hey, it's cold. Really cold. What do you do in the cold weather? We do everything in the cold weather. You're kidding. We work 52 weeks out of the year. And we're working on a job right now that we started today that when you stand over the crawl space opening inside the house, like in the closet, the trap door, yeah. you actually shiver. Well, it's sure. that cold. Yeah. And that cold air coming into the house, we can stop it. We can insulate it. We can make that a warm, treated area. Really? We're going to cut this guy's heating and cooling bill, I'll bet you, in half. I mean, we're going to put a serious dent in it. Well, okay, because we're all getting very serious. Oh, yeah. I, well, when you think of the weather we're getting, it's just, it's insane. I yeah. mean, we're getting really, really cold weather. And people's heating bills are skyrocketing. Oh, I'm sure they are. I, ca I can't wait to get my next bill. <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, when we insulate it, the sideline benefits to it, ab above and beyond the insulation, are going to be huge. From the things we've talked about in the past, with the smells, the odors, the moisture, the bugs, all of that going away, the molds, the mildews, and it's going to pay for itself simply by insulating that crawl space. That, that's got to be good news. It's going to be huge. The guy, the, This couple just can't wait. They're excited as can be about it. Yeah, I mean, I remember I opened the door of my crawl space and looked in. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You just door. close it and things like that. Yeah, but uh, so, but so you are working in the crawl space. We're working in we're working in all the weather. Yeah. Okay. And this weekend we've got a couple of things coming up that we need yeah. to talk about. What do you want to talk? About? Uh, on the seventh, we're going to be at the boys' basketball game for Ottawa Glandorf. We're going to have our food booth thing set up so mm -hmm. that uh, you can come and bring a non-perishable food item, make a cash donation, spin the wheel and win a prize, and uh, the West Ohio Food, food Bank, Bank benefits, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday, the 8th and 9th, we're going to be at the Lima Mall Health Expo. And this is kind of different. We've never done this before. Health Expo. The Health Expo. We're going to be collecting donations at the mall for the West Ohio Food Bank. Right. It's bitter cold outside. People are running to the grocery store robbing the shelves, bringing it home. There's people that don't have that ability. Please stop by the booth at the mall, bring a donation, make make a cash donation, something like that. We'll have the prize wheel there too. Yeah, very good, John. Thank you. That's our report for today. Very good night here. Yeah.